Dear ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to share my thoughts and what I saw of excellent and measurable qualities in Jinsmi. These qualities can be classified according to the six perfections, generosity, discipline, patience, joyful effort, concentration, and wisdom. I would be able to talk about his excellent qualities for several days, but due to limited time, I would like to share my thoughts in a few minutes. The first quality of generosity, Jane Smith had the most highest generosity activity, which is the generosity of giving dharma to others. All the teachings of Buddha and great masters are in the form of books. He cherishes these books as equal to one's own precious body. As a field of director for the Library of Congress, he was transferred to many different countries and all the time he carried all his collections of books without hesitation or concern for hardship. He generously chose to give away his all belongings in his will he wrote that all the collections of Tibetan text would be given to me and which I have offered to the Library of Southwest University for nationalities in Chengdu, China. On top of offering all the books, he has also paid for all the shipments. According to Jin's vision of pervasive wisdom in all directions, the uh, university will make great use of these books and make them easily accessible for Tibetans, Chinese, and international scholars, students, and researchers. He generously sponsored scholarships to several people to attend university in the United States who have received master's and PhD degrees. The second quality of his discipline. Jin had the quality of three kinds of discipline in all of his works. Every project and research works was done with the highest quality, precision, methodology, and benefit to everybody. He was very observant and found all the tables and mistakes and fixed them. He also encouraged other people to avoid making the smallest mistake, even the mistake of sex the dot after each Tibetan words, 
must be corrected. Therefore, he had the qualities of controlling wrongdoing, increasing virtue, and benefiting sentient beings. The third quality of his patience, Jin had the great patience to accept any difficult task and move forward for the benefit of humankind and their culture. He would travel and live in a place without good facilities. Most of us do not have this kind of patience. The fourth quality of joyful effort, Jin spent his whole life for the preservation and protection of Tibetan Buddhism and other nine Tibetan sciences. He worked continuously continuously, days and nights, months and years. If I say he worked 24 hours every day, it might be a little exaggerated, but confidently I can say he worked 20 hours a day with joyfulness and enthusiasm. If people had questions to ask, even if he was busy in his work, he would answer all the questions, solve the problems, and guide them to a bright future. The fifth quality of his concentration because of Jen's great concentration on his project, he accomplished one of the richest collections of Tibetan text and built a web site for users worldwide to be able to read and download most of Tibetan texts for free. The sixth quality of his wisdom. Jin was one of the most brilliant, sharp, and safety-minded people I have ever met. I was surprised at his vast knowledge of many other languages. He had great knowledge of all the geographical regions of Himalayas, their history and biographies, too. He also had deep knowledge and understanding of Buddhist philosophy and other sciences. Some may compare his brain as equal to a computer, but I feel his brain was much greater and faster than a computer search engine. If we ask Jin a question, he gave us all the accurate information. In next moment, in brief, Jin had and diminished courage and confidence to do any great projects. His skillful means and wisdom were full of insights to create an idea of uh, digitizing. All the Tibetan texts which are now accessible on the TBRC website any by using 
OCR software. All the digitized text can be converted into powerful word search, searchable interface for the scholars and researchers of the world. I rejoice in his unparalleled generosity, which benefit countless beings. Thank you for the opportunity to speak of this great scholar and humanitarian, my dear friend, Jean Smith.